Okay, as discussed, here's a video of our trailer, and I'm going to go around and discuss everything I know about it. Uh, so, uh, it's a 23-foot travel trailer. This is the hitch section. comes mounted and ready for two propane tanks, but one of them has been plugged off. I know we've used one of them, and, and it you know, works just fine. There's the stabilizer portion, and I have the bars. Uh, look inside the trailer. It is the paint's not perfect on it as you can see um, You know, it's watertight. There's going to be the filler for the storage tank which works um, That's the hot water heater which also works um, Their plug-in port uh, is over here with the water being underneath and then it's got of course gray water and uh, uh, black water septic tanks there uh, inside of here is a fuse box of course the latch looks like it doesn't stay it doesn't it does stay going down the road with the tape on it but that's what I've done um, going around the back of the trailer it's got uh, the roller bars so that if you uh, go uh, get something that's too low it will uh, keep it from damaging the trailer a nice solid hitch um, back compartment is just access to um, store stuff that shows you the brand new plumbing it's got all brand new PEX plumbing uh, which is that uh, uh, poly stuff works really well um, and completely watertight everything there is in great shape um, along the side of the trailer there's a compartment here um, that has a deep cycle battery in it as well as some storage area uh, for length I won't show you that but the battery works we've used it uh, camping three or four times with no need to charge it uh, only char actually only charged it once since then <coughs> excuse me inside the trailer um, these are the two of course there's a table in the middle um, bed on this side and a bed on this side they can come together and make one long bed or you can do two separate uh, beds there's a compartment up here sorry the lights not real great uh, compartment up here uh, that can either be closed and used for storage or opened up and used as sleeping quarters uh, cabinets on either side the stove works great the oven works great the um, heater uh, worked good when I uh, first tested it, and then the last time we went camping, the pilot lit, but it didn't turn on the blower, so I don't know if that's easy, or I don't know what it takes to do that, but it wasn't that cold, so we just ignored it. Uh, and there's a water storage tank underneath here. Um, it has a 12-volt pump, which also, again, works. Um, sink and all the plumbing does good. Uh, this is the controller, and the only thing I've used on it, the uh, measuring of the watering tank and the holding tank and the septic uh, doesn't work, but the water pump, turning that on and off, uh, does work. Um, this is another bed. Um, pretty good, decent-sized bed with a compartment on top for storage. The refrigerator, it's the RV-style refrigerator. It doesn't work, hasn't worked since I, since I got it. I don't know anything about them, whether they're easy or not to fix. Um, in the bathroom, um, toilet works well. Uh, it's got a new seal and been checked out. Um, sink as well as also a new faucet. For some reason, the light's really funky in here. The and then the the bathtub, which I think I put on the post. Uh, the bathtub's solid and in good shape. However, the walls will need to be recovered. Um, as you can see, they're not uh, with the waterproof type covering uh, that they're supposed to have. So it just takes that waterproof board and that does it. Um, I just plug, we don't usually use it plugged in, we usually use it on battery because we're in areas that don't plug in. I uh, just plugged it in, all of the lights work on plug in as well as all the plug ins. Um, on battery power, the it's just got some select lights throughout that work on battery power. Um, and it, they're separate lights, I don't know why. Um, except it's watertight, haven't noticed any leakage. Um, there is a crack in the window on the door, which I'm sure is a cheap fix. Uh, I do have a, I replaced a handle uh, on the door. Uh, it's a nicer kind of upgraded handle, and it locks well and has a key for it. Um, the trailing, trailer lights work. Uh, it's wired for a, I think it's a 5-pin. I don't remember right. Or there's also a converter. You can do a 7-pin on it. Um, and I've got my converter, which does not go with it. Um, one, two, so six pin, or I've got the converter to do the seven. So it does have electric brakes, and so it stops cool that way. Um, okay, I'll upload this. If you have any questions, email me back or give me a call.